hey, I miss being with you guys on Thursday and Friday, but I got to tell you, going to this conference and presenting was a blast. And before I get to the details, I know somebody's going to say, hey, what's that slide? That slide is this one. I was talking about, you know, the futility of using tests to uh, assess students. You know, and the whole conversation revolved around our gamification system, self-paced learning, students assessing themselves. You know the deal, everything we do in here. And after the presentation, um, that, you know, in these presentations, there's always polite applause at the end. There was some enthusiasm in the room. People were excited, and a lot of them came up afterwards, and we talked. And <laughs> one of the questions was, what was, you know, for instance, what was the daily quest today? Now, this was Friday. Remember the daily quest? Can we see it? <laughs> so after, you know, there's a group of people up in the front of the room. Everybody else is cleared out. Up comes Friday's quest and the video about Boo sitting in a chair. They loved it. They were just cracking up going, yeah, that's so cool. So thank you for helping make you know, an exclamation point happened at the end of this with your insistence that there be a cat somewhere in our daily quests all week. It, it was perfect and a blast. Um, but while I was here, I was sleeping on the most uncomfortable bed and I got so little sleep, I finished Ready Player One for the 14th time or something. And I started a book, started and finished this book. And then I started this book. And this was recommended to me by a guy that uses our system, uh, teaches in Egypt. And he says, you got to read this. Have any of you read this series? There's seven books in the series. And I'm, I got to tell you, I'm loving it and I'm getting ideas. I mean, new ideas about how we could make this so much more engaging. And I know, you know, we've got 500 quests so far this year. And we need 500 more. This is kind of a multi-year effort to rebuild this all in a brand new site. So anyone who's read these, you know, if you like games, if you like reading, if you like books, um, the uh, protagonist is a 16-year-old girl. Um, if uh, that matters one way or the other to you. But these are a lot of fun. But... I think if you haven't played games where the loot, where it's kind of like an MMO, well, it is an MMO, only it's totally immersive, and you're not controlling the character, you are the character. Um, so, but the details, the minutia of the game details might not be interesting if you really haven't played those. But if you have, you might give it a shot. Anyway, it's Monday. You guys have a great week. If you want to do your plan, remember it's optional. The DP at the end of the week, I, I have people tell me, you didn't tell us that was required. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> the DP is required. The weekly plan is optional. But you better darn well have a real plan, all right? You guys have a great week. It's going to be great to be back in the classroom. And next month, this month, it's March. It's March. I'm, on March 17th, I present, this was a CTE conference over here. I present the 15 industry sectors. Uh, in the, on the 17th, I present to the AME conference. That is one industry sector, arts, media, and entertainment, and that's us.